I've done a lot of videos where I paint with different things. Today, I'm going to be painting with character hair. Isn't that right, kid? <laughs> You've got Matt, I get it. As you've read, we are going to be painting with character's hair. So shall we get started? That's a bad idea. That's not good. No. You know when people make like the hats out of cat hair, I'm basically going to be grooming him, taking his... Uh, take that wad of hair and try to paint with that. The first thing I am going to do is find a stick from the outside. You know it's the season for black cats coming up here. Got some nice flowers recently. <laughs> I think I found it. I think I found my stick. Success. Now that we have the sticks, we're gonna groom you. So I have collected a little bit of hair, just a tiny bit, not too much. So I, I will attach this to a stick. <laughs> anyway, um, I am now gonna sketch this out. So I'm going to use a tiny piece of watercoloring paper. Good, smart. Uh, I would have used a bigger canvas if I had one. But we're gonna do a pumpkin, so that's, you know what, easy enough. We'll just draw a circle, draw a thingy. It's a pumpkin shape. But now I'm gonna take this down, because it is paper and it's gonna go everywhere. Do I give it a border? I think I do. Good. I'm using a masking tape because it will not stick to the paper too much. Have a paint. Now we're going to take this tape <laughs> and tape this to our stick. What have I got myself into? Why am I doing this? She doesn't know. See, this video is not nearly as gross as you thought it would be, is it? It's not nearly as gross. It's not that bad. Alright, let's start with the first layer of the pumpkin. I normally get cat hair in my painting just because it floats into it. This is now going to be like intentional cat hair. Jamie Jo, Jamie Jo. It's looking kind of cool so far. Basically, the cat hair is disintegrating into the paint a bit. It's just very fluffy and doesn't want to hold a shape. And here, I'm trying to clean the brush with water. I ruined it. <laughs> Still trying to work with it a bit. Tom helps me get a bigger bottle of cat hair, yay! So I mash it together, make it more firm, and then I'm back to my stick. Here I'm trying to put down a base coat of acrylic paint. to make a blending a bit easier because acrylic was not easy. I'm also going to try to just use the hair without the stick for a bit, trying to use it like a sponge. This kind of works better, but for detailed work it'd definitely be better being on a stick. So I'll do that later. I'm adding shadows and smoothing some things out. Just to be up front, this, the cat hair is getting everywhere. <laughs> Cat hair sucks to paint with. There's just a lot of hair in this artwork. <laughs> it looks a bit like an oil pastel piece to me right now, which is interesting. Now we're going to prematurely remove the border, I will regret this later. And then we add some white highlights with acrylic paint to make it look better quicker, but really you never put acrylic paint on top of oil paint, it'll crack when it dries, this is art 101. Do we care? No. I'm adding some stitches to it because it's art. There we go. 
So this is a painting completely done with Kirita's hair. Isn't that right? There's so much hair in it. You like it? You painted that with the cat's hair. Yeah, okay. I, I'm not doubting this because I can see the cat's hair. <laughs> <laughs> you can see his fur up close. Hey buddy, you did a painting. Am I happy with it? Probably not. I think it looks really good. I was, I was actually going to say I think it's better than the fork painting. It's kind of just hard to work with, you know? Because the, the hair like... Yeah, 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 so I'm really pushed out. Feel like Look at all the little hairs in it now, though. This is actually true. <laughs> Don't paint the cat's hair. No. This kind of looks like an oil pastel piece to me, you know? It has a lot of hair in it. <laughs> I do have my weekly golden pen giveaway, so please leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win pen.